Well, thank you, and thank you for the organization. I'm very pleased to be here, and I want to tell you in seven minutes or less what's happening with Initiative 2020 from the point of view of actual investments, experiences on the ground. Well, Initiative 20 by 20 is an effort led by 17 countries in Latin America to change the dynamics of land degradation in the region. These are the countries that are participating in 20 by 20, and you see there the ambitions that they have in terms of uh, restoration of land. Uh, the initial objective was to establish a goal of initiating restoration of 20 million hectares by 2020. Now we are at 50 million hectares. That's good, but that's just the ambition. More important, we've been able to capture the earmarks from 20 private impact investors and other financial institutions who have pledged $2.6 billion of private capital to participate in restoration in Latin America. This is just a collection of the logos of the platform. You see many, many logos. So something is going well because it's attracting a lot of attention. We have about 50 technical partners. We have 20 private investors, and we are working in collaboration with some of the large multinational banks and also other institutions. Now, because this uh, initiative was launched from the ground up, the definition of what enters into restoration has been provided by the countries themselves. And here you have the five windows of restoration entertained under 20 by 20. The commonality is restoring functionality of the land, restoring vegetation, carbon stocks, improving the quality of soil, restoring surface hydrology, restoring biodiversity. And these are the five windows that are being entertained. Landscape management, the first two, reforestation, grassland restoration, avoided deforestation. The initiative has three activities. One is a political dialogue, which has been quite successful. The second is a technical effort, an analytical effort. The initiative has sponsored seven regional studies on topics that are of critical importance for restoration. But I want to talk to you about one activity, which is the actual investment in restoration in Latin America. And for that, the platform has created a financial architecture, which is summarized here. And I don't want to go into the detail, but I want to answer the question, is it working? Is this providing enough support for private impact investors in Latin America to invest in restoration? And if this, okay. And this is the first example. This is a project that shows that if you give nature a chance, it will heal itself. This is a project of ecological restoration in the Chacabuco Valley in Chile. 267,000 hectares, where Conservación Patagónica has invested above ground $5 million to allow, to impede additional degradation and allow nature to heal itself. This does, does not include the uh, cost of the land, and we don't have that number, but the amount of money that they have invested in lifting lenses, bringing the original fauna, assisting in reforestation is about $5 million. This is, probably the largest ecological restoration project in Latin America, probably one of the largest in the planet. One second example on landscape management. This is a very exciting project by Caraná and Alianza Cacao Peru in three uh, provinces in Peru, working on 28,000 hectares of combination cacao and tropical high value native tree species. 18,000 new jobs have been created, $58 million have been invested. This project is fully in operation. Example number three, whoops. Apparently example number three has been deleted, okay. Example number four, this is from Altilia. Altilia was here, he left, Christian left. But they are working on a very interesting project on grassland restoration and planting of some trees in about 10,000 hectares in Mato Grosso State in Brazil. And the important thing about this project is it has been so successful financially that they are now thinking about multiplying the total land area by, an, 
by an order of magnitude. So I would prefer that Christian talks to you about it, but let's say that the next stage of this project will be in the 100,000 hectares range. Now, <clears throat> one more project, grassland restoration, very interesting project in Chihuahua Desert. Remember, we are not talking only about forests. Forests are not the only biome that needs healing. Grassland restoration in Mexico, very important aspect to be tackled. There are three institutions working on 28,000 hectares with a little bit of money trying to change the behavior of the ranchers and with an immense biodiversity benefit, supporting the recovery of population of migratory bird species in the area. One more uh, example, this is by Kona 4, almost 1 million hectares of newly reforested land with an investment of about $410 million all over Mexico. We have very interesting footage with drones showing how these trees have survived and are being uh, planted all over the country. And Caspar, one of my favorites, here is a newly, new project really uh, recently uh, uh, close, which is restoration of secondary forests. Secondary forests also a very important case of restoration planet-wise. 6,000 hectares by the Forestry and Climate Change Fund. Caspar is right there. He can give you more details. Very interesting with indigenous communities. And lastly, avoided deforestation is the cheapest way to restore land. Avoided degradation. And this project in Sierra El Divisor was launched a few months back here in Washington. 2.1 million hectares of newly protected land in the border between Brazil and Peru by the Andes Amazon Fund, and they are providing the resources to make this an effective, effective protected area. <clears throat> now, I want to spend 30 seconds on the Green Belt. The Green Belt was launched in Colombia two weeks ago by Minister Murillo in the context of Initiative 2020. This is a very ambitious effort. This is 9.2 million hectares forming a corridor that will link the borders of Brazil and Ecuador through Colombia to establish a barrier to prevent further degradation of the Amazon biome. It's a huge effort. Initiative 2020 is fully committed to support it. <clears throat> and we are working with uh, partners like Permian, with Steven, Altilia, the Andes Amazon Fund, and others to make it work. Now, the original goal was 20 million hectares and the restoration, we're at 50. That's the goal right now. We started with $350 million of private investment capital. Now we have 2.6, and I think we'll reach 3 billion or north of that in a few months. It's time to set this stage farther away. We want the next stage of Initiative 2020 to be 2050 by 2050, 250 by 2050. If we are able to engage partners in Latin America at this level of effort, 250 million hectares, we'll make a serious down payment on the carbon footprint of the region. This will equal about 60% of the total emissions of Latin America. I think with initiatives like this, we would be able to pay the down payment on a carbon-free regional economy. Thank you.